Hello Capricorn! <laughs> Capricorns! And welcome to your December 2021 general reading. You are watching Energy and Star Sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Now, what we're doing today is we're gonna, well, at least loosely, divide the reading in sort of three parts so it is easier to understand and uh, also a bit easier to look into things. So what we do is we will firstly look at the overall energy for the month of December 2021 before we will then move on to your emotional core. So we look at your emotions, um, so there could be whatever needs to go still, um, or maybe the guides talk to you about love, who knows? <laughs> that will be the second part. Uh, topically and then lastly we'll be moving into opportunities and that normally is about what sustains you um, financially right so that's what we're going to do please like subscribe and share um, because that helps me grow the video and sorry and grow the channel and um, if you like my work why not buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash thomas ready Let's do this. So, we're looking into the overall energy for the star sign of Capricorn for the month of December 2021. You have three animal guides here. Um, and the one in the middle is the most you pay the most attention to because this animal guide is surrounded by two others, therefore the energy here of the guy in the middle is amplified, making that depiction of an animal um, the most important. But everything here is about the overall energy for the months to come. And you have birds, the lion and the puma. This is so, you know, I just need another card because the puma sort of uh, just jumped out at me um, as if there's something missing. So, okay, I'm getting an extra uh, layer to him, which is the frog. I will explain all this. So, the first message is from your birds, right? And the birds are literally saying in December, Capricorns, it is important to elevate yourself. See things from a higher point of view, right? Don't get bucked down by the nitty gritty of um, literally whatever it is you're feeling. So if you're feeling, well, you know, you're, you're getting on my nerves here, <laughs> kind of stuff, um, then reflect on what exactly is it that annoys you, if that makes sense. So it is about reflecting um, to make changes. So that's the first message of your birds to elevate yourself, see things from a higher point of view. And then you have two big cats. You have the, the lion, which is your main animal guide for this, this section of the reading. You have the puma, and now the puma has joined up with a frog. Okay, so so the birds basically are your incoming energy. Now we're looking at the bulk of your messages before we look at the outgoing energy for the month of December for the star sign of Capricorn. The lion in the middle literally tells you that what they want you to do, apart from seeing things from a higher point of view, to reflect on where you are and assess your life from a higher point of view, is to realize that what works best for you in December is to actually have some boundaries. Make sure that people understand that you're not here to please them, you're not here to solve all their problems, right? And that you do need some time to yourself. Um, and the best thing um, to do that is actually having boundaries. So, for instance, uh, not always being available, um, so you really get the chance to charge your battery, um, is a really, really powerful way of also highlighting to people that you your energy uh, has limits, right? The outgoing energy, therefore, is your puma and the frog, which is quite interesting. This is about your ability to literally adapt to whatever situations are coming and because the lion just told you to have boundaries people very likely when you when you when you are a giver and they become opportunists they will now feel rejected <laughs> by you telling them you need a bit of time to yourself um and what the guides are saying to you 
through the puma and the frog is how much you are actually able to adapt the situation and that is not supposed to cause any problems you just adapt if people want to feel rejected up to them because both the puma the puma is also called a mountain lion so wherever wherever he is and he's very well adapted to um dealing with situations as they come so that's one of your strengths um, and then you have the frog, which is an amphibian who can live on land and on water. Therefore, no matter what life throws at you, you will be fine. Both of these depictions here, both of these animals, literally tell you that when it comes to adapting to situations, you're top-notch, right? So don't worry about anything, literally, um, any change situations. Um, don't be overwhelmed by them. Just realize that you can adapt and you will be just fine. You just need to assess them. Remember, the income energy was the birds. And I think, energetically speaking, that's where you probably go wrong. By by um, being probably already energetically low, that you sort of eventually um, just bite back, which is why the guides are saying is no. Elevate yourself. See things from a higher point of view. Is it worth my time and worth my while to actually respond to the petty things people bring to you. Really, really important to reflect on, on who really needs your help, right? And of those who really need your guidance, um, are you guiding them to the, to, to the extent that they are now relying on you to deal with their stuff, right? That's sort of the, the reflection um, that the guides want you to do. That was the overall energy for the star sign of Capricorn for the month of December. You are watching Energy and Star Sign Readings with myself, Thomas Yannack. Please subscribe to the channel. Please like and share. This is a monthly video, so it makes sense for you to share this numerous times. It may not mean much to you, but um, for my channel, um, it means a lot. Also, if it, if it resonates with you, it might resonate with someone else. And obviously the idea is to reach as many people as possible, right? That was the overall energy, going into your emotions. Um, and it could be emotional turmoil, it could also be love. Um, let's see what they got, right? Here we go. <laughs> Tons of cards fall out. They obviously want to be read. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Right. Here we go. I read them out to you. They're not that many, it's five cards. But I read them out to you. And see, when cards fall out, not only do they want to be read and explored, but there is an urgency to things. This is about your emotions, how you feel. And I read them out quickly and then tell you what they mean. You have the Hunter of Mysteries, the Spirit of Truth in the middle, the Dancer of Fear, and then underneath it, you have the Shaman of Stars and the Companion. So, since we're talking about um, your emotions and maybe love, there is a Companion here. Um, but he is the last of the five energies. That makes sense. We will get there. The Hunter of Mysteries means... Okay, what I'm getting is, for Capricorns, what is important here is that while... You do carry some old pain. Welcome to the club, right? It's not a very unusual thing. Um, this part of your reading is not about your old pain. It's about you telling the truth, speaking up for yourself and for the situation as it presents itself to you. And remember, it already was um, in the... Over energy, you had the lion, right? If that makes sense. You have the hunter of mysteries, which means there is so many things, and there are so many things with regards to relationships, because this is not about all pain, this is more about relationships. So whether or not you're manifesting a new relationship, or whether or not you're in one, you have the hunter of mysteries. And the idea is to also allow for quirky things to come in. Try not to control anything. It's all good when we all manifest, you know, because we obviously um, the only important thing to manifest anyway with regards to relationships is to manifest that you can get through your healing quick so that you don't attract the energy that you had with your 
ex-partners because for as long as there's something you need to learn Unilos will send you even if they send you a better version they still have to send you someone who triggers whatever it is that hasn't been dealt with <coughs> you have the hunter of mysteries as the opening energy for your emotions which are in in your case for this month all about reflecting on your love life or the love life you would like to invite into your life and the hunter of mysteries means that you're actually looking for a relationship or looking for that element inside the relationship inside your relationship um, and we're talking about intimate relationships here um, where you feel like oh didn't see that coming but it is interesting it's not like whoa i don't know what this guy is up to i don't know what she's up to that kind of stuff that's not that at all this is about mm, how can i phrase this best this is about making sure that things stay exciting and they're not talking about sexual pleasures here and that staying exciting so that they're not bringing that up here what they're saying is you need a lot of uh, which is also it is just your trade capricorn you do need mental stimulation therefore any relationship that you're in especially the intimate ones um have to be relationships where you get mentally stimulated so that all these relationships that work for you are relationships where, where someone is home, <laughs> right? You, you, you have deeper topics. You want to explore things deeply and share experiences that are probably profound. And so the other party that you are attracting or that you're living with has to step up to the plate, which is another important thing and we're getting to this. Um, right now because your middle card if that makes sense which is always the most important is the spirit of truth they're asking you when if you should you be a person that is looking for for um, the next new relationship or or whether you're the person that is already in a relationship the spirit of truth in in this case really means to assess and to manifest whether or not the partner you're with or whether or not you clear on your manifestations because the spirit of truth really means to say to yourself and therefore um, say it to your partner or the partner you, you want to manifest into your life that what you expect overall is someone who is transparent, right? Um, no hidden agendas and no sounds a bit weird no secrets if that makes sense so while it takes time in a relationship to get to know one another and therefore you know you're not necessarily blurting out um embarrassing stuff <laughs> that will take a while but in it is important to you capricorns um to always know in a, in, a, in an intimate relationship where you stand and that is what the guides are saying to you the spirit of truth is knowing your status within a relationship and this is another thing about capricorns here and it's only speaking for the month of december unless you love yourself you can't ask someone else to do that for you right so this is also about understanding that when your energy is is is, is higher you are on the track better because after the spirit of truth you have the dancer of fear right sounds ominous the dancer of fear means that if you should you be in a relationship then you're still not sure where this is going and should you hope or manifest a new relationship right now there are still elements where you kind of go like hope this is not the same type <laughs> right and in, in 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 the relationship you're in should you be in one the dancer of fear means i would like to make changes i would like to bring this to another level but I'm afraid that it might not work because what I'm getting is after this, you have the shaman of stars, which means you are a deeply, deeply spiritual person. And in order for you to be fulfilled in an intimate relationship, you, when I, you know, when, when I say need to have, obviously, you know, you choose who you want to be with and there's so many different layers as to why we're choosing diff, uh, you know particular people but the shaman of stars tells you that because you're a deeply spiritual person you really need to be with someone who not only understands spirituality but also 
wants to grow with you spiritually in that relationship because your outgoing energy is the companion. So what they're saying is energetically speaking, they want you to manifest and to be happy with the companion, which is your, you know, your intimate partner. Um, so whether or not you're with someone or you're manifesting one, they're asking you not to resign yourself to a life that is lived separately. Okay, should you be in a relationship because they talked about spirituality, it could be you saying, you know, uh, to the bloke, <laughs> right, or, or, or to the lady, right, okay, I know you don't get what I do, so um, I'm going to take some time off, uh, you know, I, I just, it's once a month, twice a month, I go to a circle. While that is not a bad thing to realize, you know, people have different um, interests, and that's all good, but because when you explore your spirituality, when you explore meditations and journeys and rituals and circles, all these things that you actually should be um, enjoying because this is where your tribe is. You will then notice that you can't even share it with your companion. Right? So, this is all about you reflecting. Can I actually share what I experience deeply, spiritually with my partner? In other words, does he understand my depth? So Capricorns, do you understand your own depth? Depth, Because when you manifest in a relationship, you need to realize how deep you are. So don't manifest someone who is half as deep as, half as, deep as you are. Right? Because when, just when someone comes into your life and they're really nice people, but they're not quite as deep as you are, you give 100%. Right? And when they give 100%, to you, it feels like they're giving 50%. When in reality, that's all they can give. Their 100% are not as far-reaching as yours. right? And that's really all they have for, for your, for your um, emotional core. Really about reflecting and, and, and also realizing that sometimes um, you either have to push the person you're with to grow or really have a look if you if it is enough for you to live with someone who doesn't quite understand your depths right capricorns ready <laughs> because we're going to the third area which is the third which is the area of opportunities you are watching energy and star sign readings with myself thomas janak please like subscribe and share and if you enjoy my videos you can now support me uh, financially which means you donate a fiver by buying me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas i would appreciate that very very much <laughs> here we go you ready for your opportunities okie dokie right for the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of december 2021 you have the snake and the sturgeon at this point in time, opportunities can only really come to you when you shed all the things you do not like about whatever it is that sustains you financially. Really, really important is to realize where it is you do not want to go. Anything that you do, should you not be happy with it, right? then make a mental note. That actually isn't really me. And then figure out, you know, based on this, um, you know, list of exclusions, um, figuring out whether or not you're in the right place. And maybe, again, this is all about the, the whole energy here of this whole reading for Capricorns seems to be about you being reminded about your spiritual core and how deep you actually are. And therefore, um, if when you, are, when you have the energy, uh, which is Capricorn's energy as well, of a counselor and a teacher and a healer, uh, that's maybe what you ought to be doing in order to feel fulfilled. Ultimately, you have the snake. The snake is the animal of, of, of health. Because when you go to a pharmacy, you see a snake around the cane. So what they're saying is any work that you do, anything that sustains you, should not make you ill. It shouldn't be so stressful that you feel like, ah, oh, for fuck's sake, right? I'm not going back to work tomorrow. Right? Really, really important. Um, that that this is not that so that this is not happening to you, right? 
and therefore shed your skin. Right? Let people know how you truly feel and should you work on your own, then step back a little and say which, of, which part of my work is really me and which part of my work has now become a chore. And do I actually need to continue that part I don't really like or have I got a bigger toolbox and can just you know diversify? Ultimately, with, and this is the good thing, is your outgoing energy of the entire reading, so to speak, but also obviously with regards to opportunities as they arise, the outgoing energy is the sturgeon. And the sturgeon, the sturgeon's energy is, is an interesting one because with regards to opportunities, he tells you it might take a while and sometimes quite some time before you can actually truly settle in a new situation because what will happen is very likely based on the energy that i'm getting is you may like something straight away but it will take you time to figure out if this was really the right move if this is really the right place if this is these are really the right people right but the sturgeon has no problem working with pressure lots of pressure in the waters and he can just think to the floor and up again so Outside pressures do not affect the sturgeon. Why is it affecting you? Right? That's what he's asking you. How come you know, you're know you doing everything 100% and you put all your effort into it if it's not noticed or not appreciated? So again, this whole reading is about realizing um, that you need to reflect <clears throat> on whether or not you're in the right place. <clears throat> if that makes sense anyway capricorns that's all we have time for um thank you so much for watching please share the video please like and subscribe and um see you all next month hey